Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Black Lotus Oracle. This will be a TGIF reading for Capricorn. I don't know. I was just sitting here and I'm like thinking about Robert Glasper. And it got me in my feelings. Like, last year my goal was to like, go see the Robert Glasper concert. When I moved to LA, like the thing to do was just to go to concerts. And I'm like, wow, I've been missing out on so many like life experiences. And I'm like, I love music so much that I should really, the, like the concert tickets are hella cheap. They're so affordable. Like instead of like going out to dinner or like going to a hookah lounge or going to do this and that or like getting a plane ticket to go see a bunch of people I don't want to spend time with, I could be spending that money and like going to concert tickets. I mean, going to concerts. So I, ugh. I missed the Robert Glasper concert. I believe it was like January. But if anyone knows me, they know how much I love Robert Glasper. So I was just in my feelings about, about his music. <laughs> I was having a moment. I don't know why, you know. But let's get into this reading. Maybe there's something significant about Robert Glasper for you Capricorn or maybe you like jazz or maybe you like um, jazz infusion um, Hamlet okay this is our second Shakespearean card of the day <laughs> to be or not to be that is the question who are you are you Hamlet are you Horatio are you, I believe, is it Ophelia? I don't remember the other characters. It's been a minute. Three of Swords. Huh. You know what I, What song just came up in my head? Heartbreak Hotel. This is the Heartbreak Hotel. This is the Heartbreak Hotel. I thought that you were someone that would do me right And said you play with my emotions and you made me cry What you do to me Look what you did to me So that you did it or do me right And then you play with someone else was on your mind What you do to me What you do Look what you did to me Okay so this is matters of the heart. Oh my. I'm feeling the hurt. Damn, someone broke your heart, Capricorn. So you could be like breaking up with someone. Maybe you found out that your spouse is cheating on you or... Um, there's some sort of betrayal here. It's like the type of betrayal where you find out that your best friend is sleeping with your spouse type of thing. You know what I mean? And perhaps you, uh, your spouse was like, oh, I'm taking a business trip. I'm getting, it's like you've been, you've, it's like you knew in your heart, your soul, your intuition was telling you this the whole time. But it's like you needed to see it with your own eyes type of thing. Maybe like your friends were telling you. And you didn't want to believe them. Or maybe you wanted to tell yourself that it's not true, like this person wouldn't do me like this. But they did you like that. And I feel like you caught, you like either saw a text message or um, you saw these two people hanging out. 
or it's something like that like you you saw the evidence it's like right in your face it's undeniable it's like there's no way that you could lie to me or try to cover this up like it is what it is it's betrayal it's like bam in your face Woo. I don't know cap like what are you gonna do with the information what are you gonna do I just I, I feel like I could see you just like putting your hands on your face and you're just like crying and it's like you told yourself you told yourself you told yourself but it hits different. Hit different. Hit different. Hit different. Hit different. You know, it hits different when you see it, when you see the evidence, or when the person you're dating actually tells you, like, yes, I'm sleeping with this person, or you actually catch them in the act, or you see something online or on social media. I'm sorry to. to I guess confirm the news for you, Cap. Um, it's Friday, so you know, don't do the whole I'm a lay in bed all weekend long and I'm gonna drink myself to sleep and listen to the sad songs. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta do it. Sometimes you gotta roll yourself up in that blanket like you're in a cocoon and you gotta play those 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 heartbreak songs and you gotta get like five bottles of wine and you gotta just cry and scream maybe don't hurt yourself but hey one time I was so aggravated with something I had like a whole a whole bottle of I, I bought myself a bottle of bourbon I was going through it and I, I got so mad that I like smashed the bottle of bourbon and the glass was everywhere. <laughs> and I, damn, I wasted a good bottle of bourbon, but I don't give a fuck. I'm mad. Sometimes you just got to go through it, like get it out your system. And then the weeks will come by or a month will go by and you'll be like, damn, I really felt that way about this person. I don't, I don't even think this person is attractive like that. The sex wasn't even good. Like this person is actually ugly or, you know, this person is whack in real life. <laughs> you know, you, you wake up out of the spell, the love spell. And it's like, why was I even tripping? So just go through the motions, you know, go through it. Don't hurt yourself, but feel the emotions and cry and watch the sad movies and eat the chocolate and drink the wine. Just do it, you know. You'll be alright. It'll be fine. It'll all work out. Thanks for tuning in.